got a big hand, king, queen, offsuit. And he's in position on the button. He is going to raise it, comes in for 250,000. Matt, sick that he didn't call that last hand, get involved. He would have had all the goods, but this time he folds a four deuce. Oh, and Cornell has picked up two eights. It's a big hand in a three-handed poker game. Yes, it is. Cornell is playing a conservative as well. Yeah, he's doing the same thing. So hell did last hand, not raising with a solid pair. Okay, he's going to try to trap a little bit and yeah. land something, but he doesn't get it there. Flop comes king nine deuce. Cornell checks. So hell hitting top pair. And he's going to bet. 400 grand. And this is the time Cornell must be saying to himself, what did I do? Yeah. Dummy. Well, two overcards are out there. Yeah. He just didn't want to play the guessing game, as we say, with two eights. So he just gives them up. Very surprising how both these guys have played eights and tens. So, so hell, taking down a nice pot. And right now, his daughter is standing by with a few words. I describe my father as uh, he's a great poker player, He's but he's wild and crazy. If he won this, it would just rock. It would be awesome. I cannot wait to go back to the hotel room tonight and celebrate because he's taking this home. And that is Sohel's daughter, Sohelia. It's kind of curious, Mike. It's kind of like you naming your son, you know, mike <laughs> <laughs> How about Ventia? Oh. How about, uh, I don't get you. I don't care you. Let's go back down to the felt. <laughs> Quick full by Matt wow. Stout with Queen 3. Now Cornell Simpan has a 6 3. Well, he's got the 6 3 of hearts. He'd like to see a flop with that hand, so he makes the call. Uh -huh. And so he'll, with a King 8 of hearts, not going to press, just calls. We're going to see the flop. There comes the flop. It's 10 3 deuce. Action on Cornell. He's got second pair. But he checks. Quick check behind him by Sohel. Turn card comes up. It's an 8. That is good for Sohel. Well, Cornell's now going to bet, though, 150000 Quickly called by Sohel. Down to the river. Another eight. Look at that. Well, Cornell now checks. Sohel now trying to figure out how much he can extract from his opponent. About 600000 in the pot. He's going to bet 300000 Could be the right amount. We will see. Well, Cornell's probably figuring, geez, maybe the guy's got a straight draw or a flush draw. All my two threes are good. He's going to look him up to find out. He makes the call. Not going to like it as Cornell loses the pot to three eights. Yeah, very frustrated right there. So, so Helsham set in the sick man at the table, extends his chip lead, and Cornell now back down in third. We'll come about with more from Foxwoods. Stay with us. Winning one WPT, a lot of people do it. Winning a second one. Oh my God, they're all, uh, all these guys are great, great players. I'd love to be uh, part of the group. Welcome back to Foxwoods on the World Poker Tour. And the Houston Bandit, Cornell Simpan, has a shot here tonight. We're down to three players. Well, he does want to add his name to that multi-winner list out here in the World Poker Tour. Only 11 guys in history have won more than one event on the WPT. Cornell trying to make it a dirty dozen. He'd have to take down Sohel Shimset, and the madman has got 70% of the chips at this point. Let's go to the felt. Action on Matt Stout. All in. And this time with King Jack says all in. Can't blame him for that, man. No. It's a pretty good hand on the button. Wow, Cornell's picked up the ladies. I'm all in. He goes back over the top all in. Looks like we're going to play some poker. Well, round to Sohel. He says, let me find something here now. I'll take them both out and end this thing. He looked down at a 10-9. You guys both all in? Yeah. He's going to exit. The area and let these two guys fight it out. It's a king jacket clubs for Matt. It's two queens for Cornell. 
money. If I win this hand, my money go. My actual money coming to me goes up a hundred thousand dollars. Come on, King. Whatever, whatever happened. Good luck, Good job. Good job. Here is little Brookback right Mountain feel here. <laughs> it's nice to see at the poker game. Oh boy, Powsy wowsy. Put the Queen Ten of Clubs out there. Queen Ten of Clubs, Deuce of Spades. Can not get lucky, not there. Let's come five four four on the flop. I like the third. Matt card. needs two running clubs to make yeah, a flush. Two running jacks somewhere. or a king to win this pot <laughs> and eliminate Cornell from a tournament. An ace comes ah, on the turn. That's not a fun card. Matched out, must catch a king on the river to eliminate Cornell from this tournament. Doesn't happen as the six of diamonds comes off. So once again, Cornell doubles up. And once again, matched out on the extreme short stack with three players left. Boy. I had this stack a few minutes ago. I <laughs> Devastation, but he puts on a smile nevertheless. Yeah, well, Vince. He knows he's taking home over a quarter of a million no matter what happens, so that's why he's happy. Poker, right? <laughs> Okay, action's on Cornell Simpan. He looks down at a queen eight offsuit. It's 345. And he's going to come in for 350,000, just enough to cover matched out. And now, so hell. The sick man looks down at a pretty good ace six. Ah, oh, you're both gonna try. <laughs> you're both just gonna, gonna call try. it. He knows he wants to get Matt Stout out. That Matt might be committed with, with anything. He obviously is, Vince. He's making the call with the three deuce here. Yeah. You know, he just figures he's got to win a million dollar pot to get back in things. Why not gamble getting two to one on your money here? And he's doing it. Can he get lucky? There's the flop. Six, six, nine. Not good for Matt. So Hill hits three of a kind. Well, he leads out and bets 120,000, the minimum well. bet. That's enough for Cornell to go away. So we're down to two yeah, players hard. now, and the only way Matt Stout can win this pot, he must get two no running hearts, run or he's got to catch two players right. to make a straight. I got three sixes. Matt, good run, buddy. I should at least get a sweat card and here, If it comes 9-9, right? nine, yeah, nine, they I would split so. the pot as well. So hell. Yes, Where sir. Where are you? Give me the four of hearts. Can I have the four of hearts? Give the man a four of hearts. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you, sir. But he wants the four yeah. hearts just so yeah, he'll have a sweat it. at the river. Fish it out of the deck. He requested it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the turn. And if it's not a hard card or a straight four card, hearts. it's going to be Give over. Give me a sweat. Oh. Well, it's a deuce of diamonds, and it doesn't matter if another deuce comes up. Matt knows he's beat. His tournament is finished. He'll be out in third place. Matt Stout going to pick up 265000 What a play. Great game. Enjoy it. I'm sure we'll see each other many you more times. And you'll have your chance. I owe you too. You I got it. You, I'll, I'll, you got it. I mean, I can only get my money in good against Soho so many times. I'm on it. Call. The king nine against my flush. Getting there on the river after we got it all in on the turn. God! That's all I can do. I played my best. I played great for six days, and uh, I can't decide fate. Oh, man, that feels so good. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's not over so Five hell. days of grueling, long hours <laughs> of poker. Uh. Security. Folks, this is what happens when you play Who's this much poker. sorry for us? <laughs> His daughter says, get up. You can't lay down on the job. There's more work to be done. You got one more spot to move up. Pretty ladies at Fox was dumping the cash on the table. Going to go to one of these great players from Houston, Texas. Well, Vance, they can really see up close now what they're playing for. Heads up action about to begin right after this. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Heads up action about to begin here at Foxwoods. Let me knock on wood here. I don't want to jinx myself. Uh, I have, in my career as a full-time professional, I've had 15 final tables, uh, five titles, and I have never finished second. So, take that. <laughs> it's like... Winning Super Bowl, it's, it's all about winning. It's all about being number one. It's all about 
not being knocked out. You're the last one standing. That's what it's all about. And, and that's what poker is all about, poker tournaments. And that's what's so special about it. Two guys from Houston. Cornell going for a second WPT title. Sohel going for his first. And the winner's going to take home over 900,000. So hell with close to 80% of the chips at the table with 7.9 million. Cornell down to 2.6. Let's go to the felt. Let's watch this thing. Well, action's on so hell. He's on the button. He looks down a Jack 8 offsuit and he makes the call. Now Cornell with a six. Well, he just checks here, Vince. I'm a little surprised by that. Your two. opponent limps in on the button. Usually you raise when you got ace high in the blind, but that didn't happen. And the flop comes 8-4-4. A good flop for Sohel as he's flopped two pair. He now has the lead. Cornell quickly checked, and Sohel, with his pair, going to bet 300000 well, Cornell, very well aware that this guy can be betting with any two cards. He's going to make the call with the ace high. He's going to need a lot of help to win this pot. A 10 comes off on the turn. Now again, Cornell checks. And again, Sohel reaching for chips. Well, going to bet it again with the eights. Looks like a half a mil. Well, now you're sitting in Cornell's seat and you're saying, mm. I wish I'd have raised this before the flop to find out where I'm at a little bit better. He's going to lay down the ace high here. And it turned out to be a good lay down. So the risk get richer here. So hell extends his chip lead by winning the first pot. Do you have anything? Yes, sir. Cards being dealt again. Action goes back on Cornell. Let's take a peek at what he has here. Oh, he's got a monster hand. Two queens on the button. Lost has a huge spot course, earlier four. with two queens at this final time. I notice he just limps in, casually talking like he doesn't have much. Oh, but look at this. So hell has picked up Ace King. He's got big slick. Both players have a giant hand. Vince, if all the money doesn't get in here, I'll be shocked. Well, so hell has raised it to 420. I'm all in. I call. Call in and call. It's the kind of hands that it doesn't matter which hand you have, an ace, king, or two queens. We're playing heads up poker. It's all going in before the flop if you can get it there. And I don't care what hand you've got. That's just the way the game is played. You just have to get lucky and win the race. Let's see who's going to do it. So hell goes to the family. If so hell wins this race, he'll be our champion. If not, Cornell will double up. Cornell needs the Queens to hold up, and that's a good flop for him. 10-6-5 on the flop. Yeah, indeed it is. He's trying to dodge aces and kings at the moment. So far, the two Queens out in front. Well, three of hearts comes off on the turn. So we are down to the river. Ace, king. So hell, Sham Seddon can take this Come title on. if an ace or a king comes up on the river. Let's see if it does so. Nope. Eight of diamonds comes off. Cornell gives it the double fist pump as he knows he has doubled up to stay alive. So Hell gets back into gear. When they come back, right now he's down to about, he still has 59% of the chips at the table. Still has a lot of chips. So Hell still has the chip lead, but cut down dramatically. All right, this hand, Cornell's got a little pair of threes. It's just going to limp in. Shocking. Because on average, you're only going to pick up a pair once out of 17 deals playing Hold'em. Here he's done it twice in a row, but just again limps in on the button. So hell with a pretty good A7. Well, when your opponent limps in on the button, you think your ace high is the best hand, so you're going to raise the pot most of the time. So hell doing it here makes it 450 to go. Now, many players would just come right over the top, move all in right here, Vince. Yeah. Let's see if Cornell does that. No, he's just calling. And I don't like this play because no matter what comes out there, there's going to be over cards. And if your opponent bets, unless you catch a three, you're virtually done with the hand. But maybe not with this flop as it comes 5-4 deuce. It is all diamonds. One minute. So hell's gonna bet a million dollars with the flush draw and the gut shot straight draw. 
But Cornell has two threes and an open end straight draw. But no diamond. Now Cornell faced with a tough decision now.